this is what I call a cul-de-sac community, you know you had to come two miles in off a highway. There's no road that runs through our town. So we're a fairly isolated, rural, and stable ecosystem right now for the last several weeks. So it'll be very interesting to see the footprint of the virus in this arena. And then we also have wide socioeconomic diversity and we have ethnic diversity. It's, it's really unusual in that we're trying to capture the entire community and we're doing it with two tests, the PCR test for viral load to show infection and also an antibody test. But it's the only way we're gonna have the information to safely move out of the restricted lifestyle we're in and, and also prevent more deaths from this, which is ultimately, ultimately what we all want. And we're hearing people getting restless and wanting to just drop the restrictive protocols that are working so well, but they're doing it blindly. If they do it in an unsafe way, unsafe way without data, we risk a resurgence. And so what we really want is to get the data so we know how to give safe recommendations about how to move back into our co-mingled lives that we all really appreciate.